now from CBS 6, the Weather Authority, meteorologist Francis Payton. Well, we have lucked out with such a beautiful start to the week. Really mild temperatures stay in the 70s this afternoon. We're looking at beautiful sunny skies. We have a high pressure system that's in control of your weather pattern. So amazing conditions today. Things are going to start to change. Tomorrow's going to be a bit of a transition day. We're tracking a cold front. Rain returns late on Thursday night, and then the rain showers will continue into early Friday morning. We're really looking at seeing some heavier uh, spells of seeing rain showers into Friday morning. So Thursday night is going to be lighter, and then as you enter Friday morning, the rain showers are going to pick up. And then behind this front will be some cooler weather for the weekend. Actually, it'll be great for uh, the Richmond Marathon on Saturday as temperatures are going to be cool as well as crisp. Right now, we're sitting very comfortably. It feels a little bit more like spring than a uh, fall out here. Right now, sitting at 73 in the Richmond area, mostly sunny skies, dry air in place with your dew points sitting at 46, which is why it's so pleasant to be outside. We have a light breeze moving in from the north northeast, so that's why the coastline is a touch cooler this afternoon as you're looking at temperatures staying closer towards the upper 60s to lower 70s for your highs along the coastline, which is why we have 66 in Kilmarnock. We right now have 71 in Ashland, 72 in West Point, and 75 in Farmville. Now, high temperatures today are going to stay around the low to the mid 70s for this afternoon hour under mostly sunny skies tonight temperatures are going to be very mild overnight lows staying around actually the uh, 40s for most locations so pretty nice night in store for us but let's actually look at our next system our next system is currently out towards the west we have two low pressure systems that we're watching as well as that cold front that cold front is really what's going to impact us for uh next or excuse me for tomorrow night into early friday let me just take you through that hour by hour here you have a few isolated showers make their way into the region late on thursday heavier rain starts to pick up as we enter in friday early morning hours this system moves very quickly it is actually out of here by about 9 at 10 o'clock Friday morning, but then temperatures cooling down for this upcoming weekend. As you see your weekend temperatures staying around the 60s and then cooling down even more for the start of next week as we're tracking an additional front. You're looking at the chance of seeing much cooler air move into the region for the start of next week, but also we could likely see our first few flakes uh, west, or excuse me, west of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So could likely see a couple flurries uh, for folks in the Appalachian Mountains. Pretty exciting for uh, folks in West Virginia. But as for us, we're tracking the chance of seeing some rain showers on Monday. Temperatures are going to cool down in terms of your highs are going to stay closer towards seasonal in the 50s and will maintain those cooler temperatures for the majority of next week.